My personal health was great. I was very active. In fact, I had competed in an Ironman triathlon. And I thought, basically, I was invincible. But I did have a family that had a history of heart disease. My grandfather, my mother, my older sister, and a younger brother. My general um, doctor basically told me I had nothing to worry about. But something kept telling me I should look further. I went through a battery of tests with my cardiologist. We realized that I had calcification of my arteries. I had cardiovascular disease. Somebody approached me about the ClinSeq study. When they initially approached me about doing a full gene sequencing, I had no idea what that even meant. From my perspective, I wanted answers. Part of the challenge is making sure that people understand when they're enrolling in research, what they're doing is contributing to generalizable knowledge and if they agree to participate, it's not necessarily going to benefit them personally. When I went and met with the folks at the ClinSeq study, they did an extensive background on my family history. Genomic research is going to depend on creating very large collections of genomic data. Some of the tools that are used involve putting this genomic information in databases, but it also does raise some questions about the confidentiality of that information. As bioethicists, we can start with policies and other tools to prevent potential misuses of the information. They told me along the way that they would find different results for different things that they weren't particularly looking for. In this case, they were looking for heart disease. Genetic counselors are trained not just in educating people about their results and telling them the factual pieces about what their results mean for their health, but also in really providing them with support. Along the way, they called me in and told me some of their findings. I had hereditary neuropathy with paralysis palsy. Parts of my body are numb, and they're numb for periods of times ranging from days to months. I never knew what it was. I also found out certain things that I am a carrier for diseases that I may pass along to my children potentially. The majority of results that people get back are actually the kind that don't directly affect their health but may affect future generations. ClinSeq is clearly leading the way. I mean they are laying down the, the map for everybody else to follow. Today you can go out and you can get your sequencing done. It's more about the interpretation of those results. It's really critical being able to sit down with professionals that can tell me what this all means, that was the amazing part. Although they haven't yet found the connection with heart disease, they will. I know they will.